Hi there. Um, within this little video I'm going to demonstrate how you can spawn dynamically uh, new AI, new grand forces within your mission um, but with, in a limited fashion, meaning there would be a cap on how many units would be scheduled automatically. So this I've created this little test mission. Again, spawn vehicle 1 is the, our test object here. Um, what will happen is I will spawn a limited amount of objects or a limited amount of spawn vehicle ones within this test mission and they will just drive from here till here. The most interesting part is of course the script how this is coded. When we look at the script there is one little uh, API here that has been added which is the init limit API and the init limit API is a very simple API it uh, provides you to uh, a capability to limit the amount of, and that's important, the amount of units that can be spawned within your mission. So if you have a group of one vehicle, um, the amount of units, or the first parameter that you would apply here, which is the maximum amount of units that would be alive, if you only want to have five units alive, you would specify here five. But if you would have a group of, let's say, two or three units, you want to multiply that value with the amount of units that your group comprises. So for example here I would write 15 if I want to have a maximum of 5 groups being spawned within your mission. The second parameter is the maximum amount of groups that can be spawned. You want to also have the capability of putting a cap on how many, what would be let's say the, the amount of resources that you would have behind this spawn um, object here. So if I would have a maximum of 10 groups that can be spawned within your mission, I would specify 10 here. Let's have a look how this runs. Okay, so I'm now in the test mission execution. Let us have a look at how what happens now when I'm speeding up the time a bit. So now you can see again like in the previous video a scheduled spawning is happening but right now I'm just spawning five groups of one unit each, so five units are being spawned within this test mission. And the spawning will not endlessly continue. 